hey guys, we're back and we're gonna be doing a little crappie fishing today. We are fishing a bar ditch that goes down into the big part of the lake. They dug this levee for flood control and stuff. But it's a good little lake. The shad has come up in here and so has the fish, the crappie. So what I was gonna to try to show y'all in this video today is we're gonna be using tiny jigs and a cork and I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how you gotta move these things to get them to bite or what I've been having to do to get them to bite. But anyway, let's go catch some fish, guys. And get one more right in here. I'm thinking there's got to be a crappie from here to me. Along this edge. This bank right here. Probably is, but whether he wants to bite or not, that's a different story. Hey, got a little crappie. He did bite. Little guy. Yeah, a little white crappie. Later. There you go. It's a little crappy. Yeah, finally. Little one. Later. There you go. Got a good one. We got a good one, baby. See if we can get him up here, out of there. Woo wee. Well, guys, last crappie I caught like this, guy said, guy commented down below the video and he says, that ain't nothing but a 10 inch crappie, if that. So, because I measured it with my pole, but look at this, guys. That right there, he's almost 12 inches. That's almost a 12 inch crop. Man, look how fat that thing is. But I got a mark right there on my pole. That is a 10 inch mark. That's a 15 inch mark. And that red mark is a new mark I put on there so everybody would know where 12 inches is now. So looky here. We are almost, we're gonna call him a good 11, 11 inch crappie. But yeah, I ain't here to trick nobody. If I was here, to do that i would have this camera shining on me all the time i shine this camera on the fish for you guys i do this for you guys I, all these tips and tricks look how thick he is all these tips and tricks i done put in my bio when i started this youtube channel that i was wanting to share my tips and tricks with everyone not all at once you know here and there and but i want you to enjoy watching the videos too guys and uh, I want to see this right here. I like people show me that fish. Show me how thick he is. Show me how long he is. And that's why I do that. I also keep a scale in here. You know, I, I got a, a weigh scale in here. So if I catch a good one, I like to weigh it. I don't want to say, hey, I got a three pound crappie. No, I put mine on the scale for you guys. Just want you guys to know that. I'm not into that that trickery stuff I love fishing and I'm wanting to share my adventures with you guys and share my fish I'm gonna show you what a what we catch by the end of the day hopefully we'll catch a bunch so I know for a fact they're right here at the butt of these shad so if I stay down this way I'll probably catch another one see now yellow bass he'll get up there in the shad some crappie will but most of the time the crappie stay back and they look for the little weaklings the the injured the sick the the ones that's got battered uh, before by a fish and they're going after the weak so they can fill their belly without a lot of effort see that's the difference that yellow bass he's going after them he's fast he's gonna go get them 
he's a very aggressive swimmer crappie's like nah wait until he slows down and then i'll get him that's why crappie are kind of sluggish sometimes is because they're they're taking their time especially when it's cold like it is this is a fairly warm day it's still pretty cool but it's a fairly warm day for february but all you got to do is get out here and follow the bait and then figure out how to get them to bite because they're there when you hear the bait flipping and see it flipping they're there what you got to do is try to find that crappie where, where exactly is he feeding at and the lure we're using today guys we're just using a real light um, slip bobber and this little eagle claw but we got uh, two bobber stoppers on purpose because i don't want this sliding down to my jig uh when you pull and jig and all that stuff sometimes it gets down here and your jig is too shallow i want to keep this thing down there and basically it's floating right, right right here so i'm about 14 inches down and then when i cast her out there i'm going to do a pull stop and pause method you cast it out there you pull stop and let it sit for four or five seconds pull stop let it sit for four or five seconds now if they're aggressive you can do this pop 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 stop pop 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 stop like that right there pop 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 and stop and then if they're slow and you're wanting to use that method just pause five seconds afterwards in between and then do it like that but my all-time favorite that catches the most fish for me is just this method right here he's, he's sitting there i know this pull and stop wait about five seconds pull stop wait about five seconds that's basically the way i like to do it right there that's how i get the most bites sometimes i just can't stand it Sometimes I like it aggressive. It just all depends. See, there he is. That one actually one of the little aggressive. That's what we're talking about. This baby on up here. Oh yeah. That's another pretty good eating crappie. Now again, I would hold this up here just to see what my measurement is, and we're we're over just a hair over ten inches. That's a ten inch crappie. That's a ten inch crappie right there. There he goes. There he goes. Oh yeah. Got a good one. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Come on, baby. He is a good fighter. Uh oh, don't get tangled. <laughs> Man, that's a good one. I'm gonna guess that one's 12 or better wow look at this i got the mark right there oh yeah he's over 12 guys man see that red mark on my pole that's 12 inches that silver mark right there is 10 and that silver mark right there is 15 so look at this oh yeah he is a big one <laughs> just to just verify he's over 12 we're gonna go with the tape measure too Show you what we got here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at there, guys. He's almost 13 inches. That's what we're talking about. Almost 13. That's a good one. Uh, clean him off a little bit. 
that's a pretty crappie 13 inch crappie in february i will take him especially on the bank yeah guys i was gonna show you guys i was telling you that this is my 10 inch mark and that's my 15 and i put that new red mark on there well here's the tape measure you see the 10 inch mark and then you know over here you can see the 15 and then you can see the one foot which is 12 inches so this is my measuring device that i use it's in my hand it's less work than having to pull this out Decent. He's about nine and a half. We'll give him another chance. Later. So one, two, I do a, I do a tri lane. That's three, four, five, six, and then I'll run it through the hook again. And you have that like a loop. Run, make you another loop, and then fold it between both loops, and pull that tag end just like that. And you just want to kind of keep snugging it until it builds right like that cut that uh tag end off and you're good to go and i'm fishing about oh we figure we'll go the, the water it's in the water about here that's 12 we'll go about 13 inches something like that see what it does but we're wanting to try this chartreuse yellow and white see what it does There he goes. A little guy. But he's a crappie. Easy there, buddy. Mm hmm. Later. Oops, another little, a little pattern going on there, I think. Yep, later. That's a nice crappie. Get him up here. Oh yeah. Easy. Let's see where he is. He's about 11 inch. 11 inch crappie. He's a good one. Nice thick crappie. We'll take him. Put him on the old stringer. There 
goes. Easy does it. That's a good one. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Caught him just in time. <laughs> That's another good one. Man, I have to see how long he is. <clears throat> He's 11 and a half. He's closer to 12. Another good, thick crappie. Oh, we got one of them uh, little crappy, a little crappy. They're fun. Later. But yeah, I caught one right in there a while ago. See if we can get another one to bite in there. Oh, yeah, he's there. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. I'll get him in here. Easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's about ten and a half. A ten and a half, or we'll take him. Good little eating crappie right there. Add him to the stringer. There we go. Right up in there. Good looking spot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just got another bite. I think they're going up in here a little more. See if we can catch him. He bit it. Tick, tick, pop, 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 stop. They want it erratic. You know, I was trying to show y'all one way that they like it, but today it's out there all over the place. So just throw it out there and do whatever with it. <laughs> Sometimes that works. He's a little small, but he, he was a fun crappie. A black crappie. Pretty good little fighter. Later. We're going to have to try it again because that's like two in a row. Or two, two, you know, pretty close back to back. So let's try that again. Yeah, we'll go right there. We might find a big boy if we keep it up. We want the big boys. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Now when I get a bite, I slow it down. Even slower. Give him a chance to get it again. Because it never know. Yeah, I'll be chugging along here and, and he'll thump it. I'm stopping and letting him look at it and then twitch it again lightly. Twitch, twitch, because I want him to bite it again. There he goes. Yeah, this one's a little, he's, I mean, this would be an eater for some people, but that's about a, that one right there is a nine inch crappie. So there's a little bitty guy right there. That's a nine incher. Later. Well, one more right there. That's got to be a good zone right there. Yep, that's a good zone. Pop, pop, stop. There it goes. <laughs> that pop, pop, stop bit it. Ooh, that's a good one. 
Better get down here to him a little bit. Easy. Ooh. Easy. Yeah. Easy there, buddy. There we go. That's a good one. <laughs> Look at here, guys. This one is... He's about 11, a little over 11. Another good crappie. Rinse him off a little bit. Yes, sir. Oh, got a little battle spot, spot on him, but he's a good crappie. Pretty thick guy. Now take him. Add to the collection. That's getting pretty good collection going on. Well, let's see if I can ease it over there. There we go. Come on, we're looking for the big slab daddies. Where y'all at? We know you over here somewhere. He goes there he is oh yeah that might be a keeper oh he's close oh yeah that that surely is a 10 inch crappie well i don't know he's not looking as big now <laughs> Ooh, he's almost 10 but we're going to give him another chance later Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. We had to run backwards on that one because I wasn't ready for him. He feels like a pretty good one. Oh! Ouch. He got away. Come on. There he goes. He hit that pink and white. He's a little guy though. Old black crappie. Pretty little guy. Later. There he goes. We found him. Oh man, this is a good one. If we can get him in here, come on, baby. He might be a keeper if I can get him all the way. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks like a keeper. Oh, yeah, he's a little over 10. Uh, we'll take him, add him to the stringer. We're getting a pretty decent stringer so far. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna hang around here until dark. I got a light on my camera now that I miss a lot of fish I catch at dark. So I put me a light on here at night, but so far we're getting some crappie, guys. That's a pretty good stringer. There's a, there's a nice slab right there. All right. There he goes. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come on, baby. Easy. <laughs> See if I can get him in here. 
Oh no. Oh yeah. That's a good eating size. He's uh, about 10 and a half, 11. He's close to 11. Nice thick crappie right there. Good eating size crappie. Yes, sir. Add him to the stringer. Do that again. Let's see if we can catch another. He liked that, didn't he? Oh man, this is a good one. Oh yeah, this is what I'm looking for. He's a better crappie if I can get him over here. Oh yeah. Man, that's a fat crappie. Let's see what we got here on our scale. He's almost 12. Look at that fat thing. <laughs> man, look how thick his tail is. Man, that's a good one. He's going to be a good eater. Oh. Okay. That's it we got so far, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Would you look at that? That's a mess of crappie. Look at that big one right there. Yeah, we got some good crappie there, guys. Yes, sir. We will take them. I will say this. I've caught some crappie, but they have wanted something different almost every time. It's just like they've seen everything and they <laughs> they just, uh, you got to do something different off the wall. I've tried, tried twitch, twitch quick and they do. You might get one to hit. Stop, not do nothing, they hit. But you, nothing's a steady pattern. I mean, if you try to do the same thing over again, you won't get no bites. It's just they want something different. I did this right there, just do like a little shake and stop. It's just always something different. But when they take it under, you gotta set that hook. You don't want them to spit that hook, so you gotta be quick on that hook set. We got a whole lot. A lot of time left we got enough to catch another one or two but i had to turn my light on it's getting a little dim so the reason i started using this light guys if i hadn't done told you in another video is because i would come out here and catch these crappie and then right before dark i'd catch several of them but it would so so uh dark you couldn't see them but it wouldn't be too dark to actually fish it would just be too dark to see anything to it get grainy and stuff but now with the light on i can hold that crappie up here and you can see him good even in the pitch black so having this camera light helps out i can just turn it on when i need it and uh keep on fishing that's what we want to do keep on catching them if they're biting keep on fishing One more before dark. We in the zone. That old jig, he's in the danger zone right now. You don't realize how that big bad crop is gonna slap him around in a minute. Yep, probably knock some paint off the jig head hook. Probably gonna knock the paint off the, the hook. Let's go right here. I think right there will be my last crappie more than likely. That's a good location right there. See if I can get one more to bite before it gets completely dark on me. I mean, I could fish out here a little bit longer with this light, but 
it's getting chilly and I didn't bring my jacket I just got this thermal shirt on and I probably need a little more clothing Oh yeah, that big boy did bite before, before it got too dark. Oh, yeah, if I can get a hold of it. That's another good one. <laughs> yeah, he's almost the 12-er. He's about 11 and a half is what that mark was yes sir well we got our last one before dark so show you what we got so far we got a good mess of crappie right there some good ones yes sir that was a pretty good trip right there we'll take them